interrupt in today's video to show you guys the offer that I've just put up on FYDApparel.com. Link is in the description. Every single t-shirt that you buy, as in these ones, these limited run ones that aren't many left, there isn't many of pretty much every single t-shirt you see here, you will get a free key tag. These are not available on the website anymore. I have a few left, but they will be put in random on any t-shirt order this week. That is this week only, and again, there is limited run t-shirts. Every single one is limited run, and they are not gonna be reprinted. If you would like a free key tag, buy a t-shirt in your size, and I'll throw it in in your order. But let's get back to the video. So guys, welcome back to the channel. We have an update on Martin's P100. All right, mate. Hello. Hi, how are we? Yeah, right, yeah. Living the dream, are you? Yeah, it's been a long weekend. It's been a long weekend. Mm. Got bags under them, eyes or what? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, it's happening. So, um, things are happening and things are changing and stuff. Yeah. You can see the bed is not on the actual vehicle anymore, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, so, there's a lot going on. Uh, I did get, so just saying, I did get a lot of um, pictures from you the other day with mounting points and various other little bits and bobs. As you guys remember, it was actually on this ramp last time yeah. and we were talking about um, basically exhaust system and various bits. Go back and watch that video if you haven't. Because we're updating, mate. We're out here updating people. Yeah, so, oh, I spoke about these actually. Um, one here. Yeah, oh yeah, uh, so that in there. And then, and then there. that one just there, yeah. So to actually give some structure yeah, so to they're this. Ori they're not original, the in middle suede was original that I yeah. cut out and then put that bit back in it. Uh, and the one over here had like a bit of a mud flap kind of bracket on it, but yeah, okay. it, it then rolled too close to the um, uh, spring. To the actual spring on, on, the, so on the chassis right here. The last thing to do with the bed was to secure them, yeah. uh, and then weld at the... It's a bit of a mess now, I must apologize. That's right, mate, you're a working man. We've got things right. to do in it, you've got stuff on. Uh, and then we tack the sides, so now the sides are tacked where they need to be. Now I've got to run down there, drill the holes, drill the holes, tack it all together, but right. it lines up as it should with all the lasers and lasers and lasers. Stuff. And I like that, yeah, you're yeah. actually using lasers to, to do this, like, properly. Needs to be right, doesn't it? Yeah, well, of course it does, because we're gonna be yeah. at, uh, what is it, Ford Fair, is that the plan again? Uh, is it Ford the Fair? Aim. Is it the aim. Yeah, um, to actually see this thing actually drive, are you driving it up? I'm gonna try. You're driving it up? Mate, I didn't know that. Well, okay, so we're driving it up to Ford Fair, only, that's happening. It's only going to Ford Fair, it's finished. Cool. Hopefully, maybe, we'll see. But done some hours. As you can see, the bed so, is off. Um, That's ready to go. Yeah. So this bit, what no one knew was this bit of wood. This bit of wood is yeah. what was holding the back of the bed up. Right. Okay. So from when it was on Interesting. there, for some reason, it, it done this. Oh, what bowed? Yeah. What from front to back? So yeah. The, the, swage lines. Right. Okay. When you look down the swage, they were like that. Okay. And the only, the only thing you could see was the back end had dropped off. Well, everything's straight as it should be. Right. Everything measures up. The bed measures up. Yeah. The line looks straight, both sides. But, but for some reason, it was kicking off at the back. That's odd, isn't it? So I've got this bit of wood in my like measuring laser night at night. <laughs> at time, probably about three o'clock in the morning when you were actually doing this. Yeah, yeah? got yeah. it in there. <laughs> got it in there and it pulled the back level. Ah. But also, the, the, then everyone's going to think, oh, well, it's going to look pissed here. But then this looked mm, perfect. So the gap then looked lovely. Right. So I thought instead of trying to work out why it's wrong. Why it's doing I that. Just made this plate. Yeah. So this was a bit, well, you see it here. It was a bit of box. Bit of box, bit of box, right. Cut the bottom off to make it the right height as the wood. Yeah. Because, as you saw in the other video, the exhaust was perfectly, that should be pretty good there. Bang on, look at that. Um, as you see in the other video, the exhaust is perfect through the hole. Yeah. So if that tub deviates yeah. from that perfect space, that's not going to be in the right place. No. Right, get ya. So I had to put this packer in to make it make it right. To actually basically lift yeah. and straighten the bed, yeah. so it was in line with everything yeah. you've already done. So, so the so the bed lines up on these two here. Yep. Okay. And then it lines up on these two. Yep. And then it lines up on the towers that sit on here. Ah, so they're the only nice. points it doesn't touch any of this. Right. Okay. So it just almost hovers over. Is that the top. A factory? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Very yeah. nice. Usually you would find uh, on the American stuff, I don't think it's too dissimilar to that, but there isn't as much um, curve, no. I think, in most of the no, no, no. actual chassis itself. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And yeah, getting that right to actually make sure that this line works, to then yeah. make sure that this works, yeah. and then the exhaust that you've done made a nice job of is actually so there's no in way, line. There was no way I'm going to finish it and keep a bit of wood in there. No, probably not a good so idea. Cut the box, make the box fit. Yeah. Um, pulled the holes out. I need to open up a hole a little bit, but I'm happy with that. 
a little bit, well, it's going to get blasted again anyway. Yeah. We're happy with the height of it, how it sits, so we exactly can get more wood. Nice. Um, I suppose here you can see the tramp bars a bit better. Yeah, so because, because this is actually off, we can actually see a lot of the work that we couldn't see or we could see from underneath. So we actually have bars here and here yeah. to make sure it doesn't basically move the axle forwards and back when you're coming on power because it's powerful. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't try and spit the ass into it. It doesn't want to come off. Actually got this in here, look at this. Yeah, so, Lovely, isn't um, it? Look at that. Jimmy, come out. Jimmy, Jimmy, shout out, shout out Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy came over yesterday um, and we we pulled the shafts out, he put yeah. the plates in to because there's the, these modified plates here that make yeah. it to um, put the cosy brakes on. Yep. So cosy brakes on and then we made this bracket yeah. which is going to house the brake hose that goes across oh, and in. Oh, very nice. So with a bit of string we were up and down the suspension, making sure it wasn't going to yeah. rub the wheel, make sure it's the right Because that can't make any contact with anything no, basically. No. Um, you can see here now where we've notched, uh, the last video I said about notching out. Yep. So here where I've notched out, here we're still need to finish welding up where the yep. exhaust comes across. So it's all been it's all been shaved up and, and everything's been tweaked. Just modifying everything because this is not a factory car no, again. No, so it's going to need. You can see better bits. now. These have all been uh, welded and covered up. They should be open. Yeah. These should be open. Right. All the all the plug ends have all blocked up. Is that mainly for strengthening? Uh, and for or, no, no dirt. No dirt. Right. Oh, if, very nice. If there was loads of dirt in there. So he's yeah. going to be a bit of skimmer filler. It's going to start it, it, going quickly. Yeah. 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 Obviously, uh, that will help with rigidity in the oh, in the vehicle yeah, as well yeah, considering yeah. it's running well, more power um, it was this side that there was this was all missing right. this is all this is all new inside okay. I've, I've tuned it I've, I've tuned it I've You've tuned it tuned it right up mate I've tu <laughs> tubed it I've tubed tubed it up um, so I've trimmed all these back off yeah I've trimmed these down because where the brake um, Flexi is going to come into here. Yeah. We're going to come up with the hose, the copper, come yeah. along, and then go all the way along where, where this doesn't touch the tub. Yeah. Come under, come all the way along, down that gap, hence why the gap's now like that. Yeah. Carry on going, carry on along here, which again brings us to where the fuel tank sits. We put these brackets on yesterday. Yeah. Drilled a nut, welded a nut in, because so the tank hovers on like these packers just there to stop right, it. Okay. And then we're going to go straight through here with a bulkhead fitting for the brakes. Yeah. And then all the brakes will then be run inside. Just go right inside the yeah. actual, so well, pretty much underneath the cab in, in that part basically. That's it. So from yesterday, I'm pretty much happy, 99% happy that everything from here back has all been modified and adjusted. Like here was the old exhaust bracket gone. Yeah. I've welded on the new exhaust bracket properly. We're nearly where it needs to be. So this is the um, uh, fuel pump bracket. Yeah. has both the pumps in it. Um, the swell pot sits on here, big swell pot. Yeah. Um, so that's all going to sort of be hidden. If you, again, yeah. if you looked under the vehicle, well, you would actually see it. Tank. Well, yeah, tank's going to be. Yeah, you just so about see it. Tank's like a cheese wedge. Oh yeah. Of course. Look at that. That's uh, weird, isn't it? It sits in, in this bit here. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. pretty. Cool. Swell pot. So I'm pretty much kind of happy. I've ordered the brake lines last night, and I've ordered the um, bulkhead fittings, so that'll get all that done. All done properly. Yeah. I just will point out again, the amount of work that, that you've just said is yeah. hilarious. Like to do all these little bits, yeah. find out you need to do them as well. It's just a constant, yeah. um, not necessarily a learning curve, but there's always something. Well, there's always something that needs to be done. You know what would happen? I'd have painted the truck, I'd have then gone, ah. Oh, we need to put the brakes in. Well, I'm gonna put the oh, I need in. to cut that. Oh, I need to plane it back. Oh, the paint needs to come off, yeah. Bit, you know. Yeah, you want to get to that point now, because yeah. the painting part is in theory relatively easy, easy-ish. Easier, easier than doing this and then finding out that then you have to do everything else. So that's pretty much everything in the back, apart from finishing welding the last bits of the tub, the tub can then get blasted. Yeah. And then we're there. It can go in, yeah, so that can go in as is because you've already yeah. got the mountain points yeah. ready. That can just go on there yeah. when that's Obviously, sort of ready, which is blast, quite nice. Finish welding it, give it a blast off, prime it, and then speak to the painter. It's ready to, uh, ready to be painted, hopefully, that would be nice. Um, so Coming around the front though, look at this. And then Sunday we fit the intercooler, fit the radiator, fit the oil cooler, fit yeah. the cap. So Jimmy, shout um, out Jimmy. Shout out Jimmy. <laughs> Here he goes. We again. mounted the oil cooler down there. Yeah, nice. Uh, made a bracket to make it fit, yeah. similar to how Jimmy done on his um, 
on his Cosworth. On his yeah. Sierra Estate, I'm assuming. Sierra Estate. R.I.P. the Sierra yeah. Estate. Just yeah. there, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's so okay. I basically, I copied what he done across off the uh, hinge, but then I've yeah. put welded another couple. You probably can't see, but welded another yeah. couple of brackets to the body yeah. to hold it in place. So it's actually structurally not going anywhere, basically. That's it. Um, and then, so radiator is in as well under there. Come around this side. I just need to get the fitting kit. Oh, so Jimmy's just kind of mocked up the hoses. Yeah. Now. This is a 4x4 four four intercooler, yeah. which I, for some reason I didn't, in my head, didn't know where it went. I thought it come, I, I thought. I thought. I thought, I thought, I it, thought. I thought it did, it went I in the front. You, yeah, but, but it, it actually don't. sits in the bay in theory. Yeah. It actually sits here. Now, I don't, when you open the bonnet and you have a look, it's kind of like, well, that, oh, where's the bottom pulley? Oh, it's kind of in the way. Oh. Yeah, that's true. So, you don't like that, do you? No. Nah. You're not a fan. No. Nah. Modifying is going to ensue. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to get, I'm going to get a bigger intercooler. Right. Within the next, within the next the days, day. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. I'll so update you. Mock on, up properly. I'll update you on what it is and where it's come from. Yeah. When it happens, but if you're not happy with this, just, don't you agree? You make it. Yeah. It just, I'll probably agree with that. In, you kind of lift it up, and it, oh, it's going to be, you know, this is going to be, this is going to be gloss black, and yeah. then you're going to have the wherever it is. The other things. Ah. That, that thing, this thing over here, as we go to the other side of the workshop. Lovely. There's P100 everywhere. Look. P100 bits everywhere. So, like, you know, that and that. It's all okay. going to be, yeah, yeah, this is going to go here. All goes black this as is, well. This is going to go here. So, that, it's, you know, all looks a bit, all looks a bit it close, doesn't it? Yeah, it needs to sort of be changed, I think so the word I is. Think I'm going to yeah, get a bigger one, open it up a little bit more. Because these stay the same, yeah. they just feed through. Yeah, just it more space. Really matter in a sense no. because you'll be. And then the bigger rad goes in front of the radiator, oh, okay. in the gap, in the yeah. gap between the oil cooler. And you, you've got the pipe work for it. Hence why I put anyway. the oil cooler there. Yeah. Nice idea, mate. Well, loads of progress as usual. Yeah. Um, no stopping. The, f the last thing I was going to ask is, what colour is it going? Well, did we talk about this? Um, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Very similar. Mercury grey. Right. A bit that is the plan. Yeah, so this sort of colour here. That kind of, yeah. They do Cosworth's Series 2 in that colour-ish. Not the same colour, yeah. It is, it's one of those colours though from the it's, Ford it, factory. That's definitely a Sierra colour. Yeah, 100%. Let so, us know below, because I obviously don't know yeah. what I'm talking about. There's, I think there's a Series 2 in relative grey like that. Can't really remember off the top of my head. Sure. There is a, you know, your phone's going off, because it always is. Love it. Never you stopped. love the phone going off every single 10 minutes, but... Oh, we got another little update. Here Shout out to Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy just knows, doesn't he? Last night, bought around the house. Yeah. I had one in a box somewhere that was missing yeah. a bracket. Okay. I've given it to someone yeah. to weld up. It's happened somewhere. I've rung both the people that I thought that might have taken it to weld. <laughs> and it's not there. And I'm like, Jimmy, because I, I need to mock that up. Yeah. Buy the, buy the, get the heater box in and mock up a bracket that's going to hold it somewhere here. Yeah. It basically goes somewhere here, but right. I can't mock it up if you didn't have one. No. So last night, Jimmy come around the house and um, donated me one. Shout Jimmy, mate. That's I tell you, he knows his stuff. He knows. He so as, uh, as updates go, that's again quite a big one, if I'm quite honest. There's a yeah. lot going on. Well, the, the back's pretty much finished, if I'm honest. Yeah, I'm Everything's done there. Yes, you've got to change a few things here, but. Mate, we're on the road here to, to it being right. blasted and, we're flying. We're you know, flying. ready to go in, in theory. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll update you guys again as to the progress because it is thick and fast and you yeah. again want to get this done before Ford Fair. That's the idea. That's the that is a hell of a target, mate. Well, the thing I've said is that if I keep the pace going as I am, even if it isn't ready for Ford Fair, mm. it's still going to be finished. Yes. I might see the end of the summer with it yeah. if I get it finished. Yeah. You know, fingers and crossed. We'll get we'll get cameraman Rob to come and do some photos of it, and then, yeah. you know it'll be nice. And you can take me out in it then. We will go out. Bah, 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 bah. Get some GoPros on it, take it down the road, and all that good stuff. Obviously, this is how it looks now, but mate, no stopping down here. Are you, are you, are you, is that it? Is that it? I'd say so. Yeah, are you pretty happy? I think there's there's obviously so much more that's going on, but there is so much happening. Yeah. Mounting and stuff is, is the just moment, so much the moment, going on. It's all, it's all the little brackets. It's all mm. the, I've got like these. We made, we made these. We made these. They get the seat bolt goes through it and it bolts oh, the seat yeah. up. It's stuff like that. that it, you it's, it's not necessarily an no, update, no. but it's stuff that needs to happen. Take, it might take me four hours to get those seats and the seat bases in. Yeah. 
But, but if you tell people that, it's like, wow, it's, it's just happening, isn't it, more than anything? It, it just goes in, but it doesn't just go in. It takes hours to actually get this stuff yeah. done. But I think we're going to end it there. Thank you very much, Martin. No worries. Cheers, mate. No worries at all. And um, we will see this once... Uh, You've done a little bit more on it, I think. I think so. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. See you later, guys.